colorful on the outside and sweet on the inside, the Sticky Art Machines project shows gumball machines can be works of art. Over the past four years, Berlin designer Max Schwach has taken more than 500 photos of these bubblegum vendors. Every machine is different. Each one is unique. And the interesting thing to me is to see how different they all are and to document that. According to estimates, Germany is home to around half a million gumball machines. The number is actually dropping all the time. Max Schwach is focusing on the ones in Berlin. They're constantly changing due to graffiti and stickers. Many Germans associate the machines with their childhood. The great thing as a child was that you could buy something with the money you'd saved. And you could work the machine yourself to access the chewing gum. Most of them just happened to be at eye level, so it was quite hard as a child to walk by and ignore them. Max then processes the photos on his computer. He always separates the machines from their backgrounds. He doesn't want the facade of a building or graffiti to detract from the main motif. Each machine has a story to tell, and that's why I love showing them side by side. Some have political messages on them, in the form of graffiti, and there are usually lots of stickers, of course. But others are just funny and colorful. Max prints the photos onto t-shirts and jute bags. He also sells posters and postcards. The machines are a piece of 20th century history. In the more gentrified parts of the city especially, there are a lot fewer machines these days. But if you know where to look, you can still find them. And I think it'll be a while before they disappear completely. In the meantime, Max Schwach plans to continue his mission, keeping alive sweet childhood memories.